Okay, never mind. The storm is pretty much already here. Let's go ahead and turn. Oh, God. We need to take off in a short distance. Let's go. Leave the tank behind. And we are taking off in our C-130. We are out of here. Nice. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are actually going to be transporting some tanks inside of this C-130. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and open up this door. It's also got a ramp on it, that's kind of interesting. Uh, back here we've obviously got the massive cargo bay. Uh, I need to open this. If I can, I don't know where I open it from. Which is kind of annoying. Here we go, here we go. Right, cargo operator, let's go ahead and open it up. Ramp! Yes! Oh, there we go. Nice! Uh, so I've already got the tanks ready to go. Let's go ahead and grab them and drive them in. Alrighty, so here they are. These things are actually really awesome. These are M24s and they actually look really cool. Uh, there is something I've done to them to try and make them be able to fit. Uh, I've modified them slightly. Uh, and the reason I've done that is to actually get them in the back of that plane. But um, there is usually like a flag on this pole, and there is also a big old uh, 50 cal on the back as well. But I've had to take that off to try and make these fit. So, let's go ahead and get this thing, thing moving, and hopefully we can actually fit inside. Alright, here we go. Let's get ourselves lined up and uh, just push it in. Here we go. Yep, here we go. Line her up. Yep, kind of lined up. Kind of. Not really. Alright, do we actually fit this? Oh, yeah, we fit. We fit this tank in. Nice. I mean, kind of. I don't know whether we'll fit two of them, but we can definitely try. <laughs> we can definitely try. All right, open this up. Let me out. Actually, turn the engine off too. All right, let, let's get out. Okay. We're just going to be transporting these tanks. I'm sure it's fine. We'll leave the roof open. I'm sure, it, <laughs> I'm sure it's okay. I don't know if we'll fit two, but we'll try. Okay, off we go. We got the second one. I think I'm going to try and reverse this one in because uh, I feel like that will give us a bit more room, possibly. Although, actually, at the same time, I don't think it really changes much. So, I don't know. But, um, we'll reverse it in anyway. And I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, here we go. Reverse. Straight up. Okay, here we go. We're reversing it in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's really good. All right, leave it there. Let's get out. And hopefully... Hopefully we can close the ramp. You see, the thing is, I can actually tie these things down, but at the same time, I can't because I can't actually fit in there. So we're going to have to go around the side. We're going to just grab onto this and, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just put all the magnets on and hope for the best. Here we go. My goals. And they don't actually attach because reasons. Oh, God. Uh, not good. <laughs> not good at all. What do I do? Okay, I've grabbed some rope and I'm going to have to try and find a rope anchor on this thing. I don't know if there is any. I legitimately don't think there is, but we'll we'll have a little look around. There isn't. That like there's no rope anchors on this tank. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna close the ramp, and uh, I'm gonna hope. Whoa, I'm gonna hope it all fits in, uh, well enough. I I think it does. All right, let's get in the in the cockpit, and uh, let's get this thing moving. Let's go. Okay, so we've we've got some some sad things going on in the back, but that's okay. Right, so we need to actually turn this thing on. So engine right, engine right. Alright, okay, those should have turned on, but whatever, that's fine, I guess. Okay, let's do that and that. Oh, I need to turn that on too. Here we go. Alright, very good. RPS boost, we don't need that right now. And we got our reverses. Pump to left, pump to right. Drop fuel tanks, we don't need to do that. Instruments, yes. Interior lights, yes. Navigation lights, yes. Alright, we're ready to go, I think. Collectives right there. Our engines are going to start up. And I hopefully am going to be able to get out of here, but I don't know. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Okay, we are moving forwards very slowly. There we go. We just need to go forwards, forwards now. Here we go. Very nice. Yep, get it moved out of here. Oh, God. We are leaning to one side. I don't think that's good for a plane, but whatever. It's fine. Here we go. Keep going forwards. Keep going forwards. Come on. Push it outside. Oh, God. It's really having issues. It's having some issues. But it's okay. All right, here we go. We're emerging from the hangar, and uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go. And to be honest, I think we can take off in this little space right here. So if we can, we're going to boost the engine RPS. We're going to increase the collective. And we're going to turn off the parking brake, because the parking brake's on. <gasps> I just pressed landing gear. That was a bad idea. All right, we're good. We're good. Collective is full. And we are in the sky. All right, nice. We did it. 
All right, landing gear is going to come up. Yes. And we are flying with two tanks in the back. <laughs> kind of. Two tanks in the back, kind of. Not the best, though. They don't really fit. All right, cool. The view from this cockpit is actually awesome. I really, really like it. So we're going to continue flying around. And I think at some point I'm going to drop the tanks. I'm just going to drop them out because reasons. Uh, they're going to be like mini bombs, except they are tanks. Uh, so maybe that's that's a bad idea. I don't know. It might be a bad idea. It might be a good idea. We'll see. Um, I do also kind of want to attempt to land this thing. So what I might do is I might circle around and land back at that airfield, drop off one of the tanks, and then try and tie down the other one. Because uh, that seems like a good idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. The front landing gear appears to just be out. I think that might be slightly broken, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and put the landing gear down. Yep, very nice. And uh, we're going to land this thing. We are definitely going to try anyway. Here we go. Uh, do we have flaps? Do we actually have flaps? I don't know. I don't know if we do have flaps, but that's okay. What's this? We got a collision warning. <laughs> Thought I was going to collide with the ground, I guess. That's not what we want. All right, come on. Let's do this. Let's land this thing on the ground. It's going to be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, okay? Come on. Come on. Oh, this looks epic, actually. <laughs> it looks really good. All right, we're going to have to uh, drop the collective as we go in. But I'm sure that's fine. Here we go. All right, we're going to lower the collective as we go in a land. And we are going to land this big old boy on the ground. Here we go. Slowly but surely. Not the best landing in the world, but we are down on the ground. Gonna go ahead and whack on the la the parking brake. I do have variable brakes too, but never mind. <laughs> uh, front landing gear has collapsed under the under the weight, but that's okay. Uh, let's get outside and move this tank out because one of these tanks is like ramming the other one. And I don't like it. Okay. All right. It's already sort of coming out. <laughs> it's already on its way out. I don't know how to get into this thing. Actually, I I guess I have to just jump. I don't. Oh God. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I can just jump up. That's awesome. Uh, I wish the lights were on back here, but they're not for some reason. It's okay. All right, engine on. Let's go. Yeah, we can unload the tanks here. That's awesome. All right, so I don't really know where to put this, but uh, we'll just we'll just drive it forwards and uh, we'll leave it on the side of the runway because reasons. All right, cool. We'll leave it here. That seems fine. All right, get out. Let's go. I do actually want to show you guys how to shoot and stuff with this thing too, if I can. Uh, is that a thing? Can I turn the turret? <gasps> there we go. Look at that. I can turn the turret. I can move it around. And you can actually sort of fire lasers. Oh, well, actually, you can just fire. Look at that. The whole barrel, like, gets knocked back. That's awesome. It is such a cool motion. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave that one there. We need to see if we can tie this one down at all. I don't actually think we can. I really, like, realistically, I don't think we can. So I might move this out, do some modifications, and then drive it back in. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and turn her on. There we go. Let's go backwards. Yes. Meow. <laughs> very nice. Very, very, very nice. There we go. So you got the two nice. Oh, they're so good. The actual like gearbox and stuff in this thing is amazing too. I really like it. Also, we got a map down there. We've got a GPS sensor right there, which actually makes the interior look nice. Um, we've also got the actual turret right here too. Oh, that is epic. That is actually super cool. That, oh, and then if we fire, oh, the whole thing comes back. The GPS sensor thing comes back. That's amazing. Right, let's go ahead and uh, modify this thing. We'll ramp it back up inside, and we'll transport it somewhere else. Okie dokie, I made some small modifications. I've added rope anchors right there and right there. On the other side, on the back, we've also added them right there and right there. So four of them should be enough to actually tie this thing down. So let's go ahead and get back inside the plane, and uh, we'll take off and go. Let's go! All of these modifications I'm making to this thing are making it look so much uglier. Uh, the actual gun on the back was insane. I might have to show you guys it unmodified in a second. But uh, for right now, let's just get it inside the plane and get going. I like being able to drive out forwards, so I'm actually going to reverse this one in. And uh, I think that'll be great. Here we go. Right, reverse it in. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. It's a bit quick. Like, it's a very fast tank. Uh, there. Right, that's probably okay. All right, let me out. Where's the hatch? There's the hatch. All right, turn off the engine and jump out. I can't get out. Ah, oh, jump. Jump. It's it's such a pain in the butt to get out. Come on. There we go. 
All right, good. I'm gonna leave that hatch open. I am one with the tank. Okay, not good. Okay, whatever. Right, row bankers. Here we go. Go ahead and attach that to there. Attach it to there. Good. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Attach it to there. Attach it to there. All right, very nice. Let's go back to the front. And uh, we'll attach those front ones. And then we should be good to take off again. There we go. I've turned the lights on back here now. So we can actually see. <laughs> Amazing. Right, anchors. Here we go. Attach that to there. Okay, good. Same with this one. Attach it to there. And attach it to there. All right. Very, very nice. I like it. Cool. Uh, go ahead and close the ramp up. Yes, and let's get going. Close this door as well, because we have to. And let me in. There we go. It's automatic. This door is automatic. That's awesome. Right, we're in. We are ready. Yes. All right, it's tied down, so it shouldn't move too much. We are good. We are good to go. Okay, turn off the brakes. There we go. Go ahead and do this, and we are going to get going. The boost is on, so it's ready to take off. And we should be able to just fly. Here we go. We are in the air already. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up the landing gear. And we're good, I think. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so um, I didn't really plan ahead. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I, I, I legitimately don't know where I'm going. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to find a beach, like that one over there, and we're going to land on it, and we're going to drop the tank off, because that just seems like a really cool idea. So... Let's go ahead and line up, and uh, we'll, we'll park it, I guess. I don't know how this is going to go, though. Landing is going to go down. Variable brake is going to go on. Parking brake is going to go on, because we need to stop quickly. And uh, we're just going to land. Oh, God, this is not a very, very long beach. This is not a very long beach at all, but it should be quite flat, so we might be okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Let's go ahead and slow this down a little bit. Here we go. All right, slow it down a lot more than that. There we go, indeedy. And slow it down a lot more than that. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to have to, like, stall out onto the beach. That's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, bit of a harsh landing, but we have indeed stopped. Okay, awesome. Go ahead and lower this to zero now. It's on zero. Good. Get out. Let's go ahead and unload the tank. And that is awesome. Nice. The tank is in one piece, too. That's very good. All right, put that back. Good. Put this back as well. Um, we need to get around this, <laughs> which is impossible. Right, I'm just going to open up the back door. There we go. Ramp is going down. And let's go around. And we can untie it and drive it out. Oh, we did we, we did actually take some damage. That's not very good. What's this? Why is that? Oh, that's a refueling thing. That's kind of cool. I like that. Anyway, we need to uh, drop this off. Come on. Get the tank out. Get it out. Okay, right. We've gone ahead and untied everything. Let's go ahead and drive it straight out. Let's go. Here we go. Go ahead and close the hatch. Press 1. Drive it forwards. And we are unloading on the beach. That's amazing. Look at that. That is epic. Okay, awesome. Go ahead and leave that right there. That's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump outside. And uh, we're going to see if we can take off again. I don't know. We'll just leave the tank here. And we're going to drive. We're going to fly away. We're going to try and fly away anyway. All right. Close that ramp. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Very good. We're going to go ahead and close this too. And uh, we're going to get out of here before the storm comes. Okay, never mind. The storm is pretty much already here. Let's go ahead and turn. Oh, God. We need to take off in a short distance. Let's go. Leave the tank behind. And we are taking off in our C-130. We are out of here. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, collective's at full. We're going to turn off the boost. All right, okay. So we're going to fly slower now. And uh, we need to lift up the landing gear. There we go. The landing gear has never actually really worked. The back ones have worked... Well, the back right one's worked every time. The back left one didn't last time. And the front one has never actually worked. And I don't know why. But, um, that's okay. It's okay. Oh, God, this wind. <laughs> this wind. It is windy. It's not good. Okay, so we've done our rounds. We've actually delivered the, uh, we've delivered the cargo, which is pretty awesome. We're going to go ahead and fly back now. And we're going to attempt a landing in this wind, which is actually pushing this thing around quite a bit. Also, how do I deploy countermeasures? Because I really want to. Just, just because I like the way it looks. So, can I deploy countermeasures? Emergency flare. Emergency beacon. Uh, distract flare? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Look at that! Yes! They all fire out sideways. That looks epic. That actually looks super cool. I love it. That is nice. Anyway, we need to line ourselves up. We need to put the landing gear back down. And we need to, um, we need to park this thing. Variable brake's gonna go on. And we're gonna, we're gonna do a good job. I can, I can smell it. I can already smell it. Okay, I can see the runway. We are, we are ready. We are ready, ready. We are very, very ready, ready. 
All right, cool. I'm going to drop off these tanks because I don't want them. There we go. Our drop tanks have gone. Uh, we are flying in sideways because it's windy. This is um, good. Cool. Um, do I have my landing gear down? Yes, I do. Everything seems okay. Uh, ish. Everything seems okay ish until we come to a landing because I need three hands. I legitimately need three hands. Okay, right. Here we go. We're sailing in over this. Very nice. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Okie dokie, I'm missing the runway by a lot. Because I don't have three hands. Uh, uh Alright, correct it. I missed the runway. Oh, I did a boo-boo. We're kind of on the runway though, so that's lucky. <laughs> We're just gonna stop right here. Parking brake on. Landing gear? I didn't mean that. I don't think the landing gear and the parking brake should be next to each other. Because this happens. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Also, we got a flare stuck inside of us. But that's okay. Anyway, uh, I think I might actually end this here. I do want to check out one more thing. There's a little room up here, and I don't know what it is. What is this? Oh, we got like a little... We got bunk beds, and we got a shower. Interesting. That's very cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, all the vehicles used will be linked down below. Goodbye.